Hi guys, Saran here. So I'm back with a new video and this time I'll be talking about the research which is going on in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. Now you guys would ask electrical and computer engineering are two separate branches and why is their department together? Now I've already told you the, the kind of research which is undertaken and which the research which is industry relevant is never just one field of study. It is an interdisciplinary uh, thing which is taken up and the research is interdisciplinary and you would require a knowledge of various subjects from various branches. So the research, the kind of research going on in this department is a mix of electrical and computer science field. So that is what we are just going to see here in this video and see what kind of research which is going on. So when you go to the home page, you have to go in the education section and from there you can go on to this page of NUS Faculty of Engineering and you could select PhD and Masters of Engineering and you will get these departments. So that process we have already seen in the few, uh, past videos. And from here we are going to see Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering. So we just click on this link and this page will open where you'll see these tabs and from these tabs we'll just take the research tab and see what all research is going on so the focus research areas are communication and networks control intelligent systems and robotics integrated circuits and embedded systems micro microelectronic technologies and devices microwave and radio frequency power and energy systems signal analysis and machine intelligence and as I've already told you in the video which focused on the material science department that the material science department has basically centers of uh, different research programs. So these cent centers are interconnected with the electronics and electrical and computer science department. So if you want to go to a certain research going on on some certain material then that link can also be chosen from here like the optical science and engineering center and the center of intelligence sensor and MEMs. So you can go from here and see how the electronics and electrical department and the computer science department are related with the material science field. But in this video I'll just focus on the electrical and computer science department as it is. So we'll just take one field to start with. Let us take power and energy systems. All right. So in the power and energy systems, there are four basic field of study which is going on electrical machines and drives, power electronics, power systems and semiconductor devices. And these things, these this research in these four domains is being implemented to smart grid technologies, renewable integration, energy harvesting, control and management of electric vehicles connected to the power grids low power intelligent sensing nodes and assistive technology. So these are the main things which are being researched upon in this area in this specific focus of electrical and computer science department. So let us see what is power electronics. So power electronics deals with analyzing designing and developing novel power converter, top converter topologies and innovative modulation techniques for the given applications. Now what are those given applications? Microgrid, nano satellite, marine, renewable energy, energy storage, transportation, data centers, UPS, active filtering. So these are the basic technologies which are being researched upon and they also deal with advanced non-linear control techniques for motor drives, power electronic converters, active filters, intelligent power semiconductor devices and lightning protective devices. So if you want to do your research and higher studies in this field and have you have chosen your interest in specifically this field then you can write this about in your SOP and I'm going to discuss uh, some more fields and the people as well who are working in this in coming slides. So let us see the next thing is the power systems. So the power systems area of the power and energy systems whole uh, focus area is what, what they are doing in power systems is they are doing analysis, intelligent control, reliability and monitoring of power systems. And in that as well, they are optimizing renewable power output forecasting, electricity price forecasting, electric vehicle integration and energy storage systems. So what they are basically doing is they are 
completing this whole series from supply of the electricity to the demand of the electricity and whatever is in between they are optimizing this whole process by using various techniques so they are using intelligent control which is a computer science domain to control the supply of electricity from the supply area to the demand side so that is why the integration of computer science into electrical is being utilized here okay next are the machine and drives machines and drives so what are they doing in this area is fault diagnosis and condition monitoring of electrical equipment like transformer motors generators etc and they are also focused on control of high power ac drives and torque ripple minimization minimization of ac drives so if you want to work in specifically machine domain the motor drives the ac drives and you want to do research in that domain then this is the page you should see on the website and read more about it so the next thing is condition monitoring so what are they doing in this thing is they are working on condition based maintenance which is also called predictive maintenance so what they do in this thing is they implement some sensors and uh, uh readers for the data on the machines and from that data which they get from those sensors they analyze the condition of the machine and they get to know at what point of time the machine has to be uh, sent to repair and uh, the repairing work and the maintenance work has to be scheduled on what time now this saves time over the other technique over the old technique now what is the old technique as you guys know the old technique is scheduling beforehand and stopping the machine at some particular time and doing the maintenance so this thing saves time so that is why research work is going on in this domain and presently they are specifically working on condition monitoring techniques uh, which are based on electrical parameters like voltage current and magnetic flux so this is one domain okay now people working in this domain you will be uh, some of you guys might be familiar with and these are familiar names ashwin m khambad kone so uh, he is working in this field and he has 6382 citations to his name and uh, he is a very uh, renowned professor there and let us see one of his papers which he has worked upon composite energy storage system involving battery and ultra capacitor with dynamic energy management in microgrid applications now what he is doing in this thing is the renewable sources of energy as you know are uh, fluctuating sources of energy the amount of energy which you get from a renewable source is not constant throughout the year so in order to manage that we require energy storage devices at some point of time we require high energy density devices and some point of time we require high power density devices so he has combined these two technologies and working on a composite technology which would enable us to uh, store energy at point of time when there is a fluctuation in the energy output from the renewable energy sources so that is what he is working on and the next person is deepti srinivasan she has 12694 citations to his to her name and that means she is a very credible uh, professor as well as scientist so if you work under her and you want to pursue your research under her guidance then that would be very valuable to you now let us see one of the papers written by deepti srinivasan short term load and wind power forecasting using neural network based prediction intervals now this is some kind of project which is the very typical example of the interdisciplinary nature of the higher degree projects and research work how this thing is interdisciplinary because it involves neural network and it is used for short term load and wind power forecasting so neural networks are something uh, which are used in computer science and is uh, is a part of the artificial intelligence now what she is doing in this paper is she is analyzing the wind power which is available at some particular um, uh, 
point of time and uh, she is uh, trying to forecast what wind power would be available by using this artificial intelligence technique of neural networks so this is what she is doing in this paper so if you want to work on such kind of projects then definitely you should write about it uh, in your statement of purpose and then let them know that you are a capable fellow and uh, you uh, have an interest on working on such kind of projects now the next uh, topic of the area of uh, focus uh, in the electrical and computer science department is microelectronic technologies and devices. Now, this area of focus is related to material science. So, those of you who are interested in doing the research on material science, especially in the electronics field, then this is the area which you can work on. So, what they are working on is conventional device technologies like uh, silicon CMOs, third uh, V electronics and photonics, spintronics, MEMs, energy conversion and uh, the emerging devices as well like variables, neuromorphic and quantum devices. So the current major topics of research are novel materials and physics, ultra fast and energy efficient devices, MEMs and sensors, photovoltaics, non-linear optical devices, non-volatile memory, spintronics, variable devices, emerging devices concepts like neuromorphic in memory computing topological and quantum etc so some of these topics i have already discussed in the material science video which is related to the nus you guys should uh, should see that all right so let us discuss here specific uh, kinds of information which is available on this particular domain novel materials and physics so what they are doing is they are studying the fundamental physical phenomena that arrive from novel material systems and interfaces now i'm using this term novel again and again so what is novel novel is new somewhat the a thing which is new to the world and hasn't been done before is novel okay so they are working on novel material systems they are studying the physical phenomena of novel material systems like 2d materials quantum materials and non-linear optic materials and so on and what are they studying this thing for to exploit the results in device applications so, so they are studying these materials in order to make new and powerful electronic devices from these materials so this is one area of study then the other is intelligent sensor and MEMs so you uh, already know that uh, these kind of sensors and uh, MEMs are the backbone of electronic industry and all kind of the control work and sensing work and everything is done by using these devices so research and progress in this area is highly critical to industry that is why such kind of research is going on and what are they working on silicon cantilever sensor embedded with micro cavity resonator configurational analysis of cantilever sensor based on dual nano ring resonator and NEMs diaphragm sensor using triple nano ring resonators so if you want to work on such kind of things in the electronics and material science domain so these two are the combinations and this is interdisciplinary project so if you want to work on this thing and see your future in this thing then you should definitely research more about it and generate your interest in that all right so next thing is spintronic devices now what uh, research work is going on in this field is spin based non volatile memory sensor logic device terahertz emitter as well as spin wave devices so this is some kind of spin wave phenomena which they are using in uh, all this research and they are studying this phenomena and using this and applying this to devices to uh, make new devices all right so if you want to like uh, you can see here smr sensor at fingertip so this is a spin based sensor then here they have shown how they are using such kind of phenomena so this if you want to work on this field this is a totally new field not much work has been done on this then you can definitely generate your interest in this all right and the next thing is hybrid integrated flexible electronic system this is something i have already discussed in the material science section as well these are the electronic devices and electronic chips which are being fabricated which are variable and which are flexible and these electronic systems are used to make even simple 
simpler and flexible devices so this kind of work is also going on there by using material science and electronics in a combined manner so what are the people working in this field professor armin aberle now he has 12163 citations to his name so you know he is a very credible fellow and a very learned guy and let us see one of papers written by dr arbel now one of the papers he has written is film thin film solar cells so this is a review paper this is not a novel work paper this is a review paper in this paper he has reviewed all of the work which has been done in this field so if you are interested in this kind of work like in solar energy and generating uh, electronics which can harness solar energy and store solar energy then you can read his work and his papers and you can find out more about it so that you can display that uh, interest in your statement of purpose all right now next person is dr t venkatesh and i have already told about him in the material science video he is the director of nano science and nano technology center and he is also working in the electronics domain as well as the material science domain so this micro electronics domain is basically his area of expertise and if you want to know more about him then please uh, reference take a reference of my material science video which was specific to nus so this is all for this video and i'll be back with new department specific videos and uh, thank you for listening please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for future updates thank you or as they say in german danke <laughs>